All right. I am going to be installing some speakers on my E46 330Ci. Um, this is my first video that I'm kind of posting for YouTube and an install video. Um, I got some Alpine 610s or something like that. I've already installed the passenger side. I haven't recorded that. Um, I started, well, I recorded like some of it, but not much. These are the speakers that I'm putting in. Like I said, I already put it in the passenger side. SPS 610Cs. Got these on Craigslist. Uh, about 150 bucks. Really not bad. The passenger side made a hell of a difference. I have, a, I'm only replacing them because the tweeters are breaking up real bad, sounding like crap, and uh, these seem to fit pretty good, they're like one inch tweeters or something like that, pretty big, and they've um, got a locking threaded ring on the back side of them, and it actually holds them really well, so uh, that's one reason I went with them, is the tweeters an easy install. All right, so I'm getting ready to uh, pull the door panel off pretty easy um, on these cars. There's only a few screws to pull out. I think they're T20s, um, if you can kind of see that. Yeah, T, T20 Torx. Um, so there's only a few screws to put to uh, put in there or take out. There's one in the door panel there. There is one, can't really see them, there's one under there, there's one right here, like I said, there, back there, pull out this airbag cover, and then right back in there, little clip to pull out, and then there's a T20 back there too, and then the panel just pops right off. Alright, so I got the airbag clip out and you want to be careful it's got uh, these teeth on the clip and they can definitely hurt the door panel the leather and the foam and stuff around it so just be careful when you pull it out um, I use one of these plastic pry tools um, and just try and push in on the gripping part of the clip the teeth um, try and push them in a little bit without breaking them that way you don't damage the panel all right, so update, got the door panel off, as you can see, and it was much more of a pain than I anticipated and much harder than the passenger side, but in the grand scheme of things, not too bad. Um, compared to the passenger side, you have to remove, at least I did, the armrest in order to get the window switches, or side mirror switch out. It wasn't too bad, but there are two clips once you get the panel off. These metal spring clips that you kind of press in and the switch slides out to get the plug. Do not try to undo the plug while it's still in there. As I did, you will probably break the clip. I tried to pry up on it and part of this plastic right there is broke. Still looks intact and it'll function, but... I tried to take an easy route and it didn't work. All right, here we have the back side of the door panel. And here is the woofer, the mid, and the tweet. I'll be removing these and replacing them with those Alpines. Um, there's only three screws holding in the woofer. One, Two, it's down in there, and one there. Up here, basically the same thing. I'm pretty sure there's just the one, two, three screws holding that in, and this door handle part will come out so I can screw in the tweeter. Um, it'll go in this location, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right. And I'll come back when I have all the speakers put together. All right, so I have the speakers installed in the door panel, and this is basically how I'm gonna do it. I might tidy up the wires a little bit more, but so far this is what I'm gonna roll with. Um, the kit that I got from Crutchfield comes with a little trim adapter ring because there's only three screws holding the speaker in, as opposed to normally on speaker installs, I got four. 
Um, so the trim ring, as far as I can tell, if there's a different way to do this, maybe I'll find out later, but I'm not really sure, is the trim ring just holds the speaker in place. There is no spot that I want to or can see how to fasten the speaker directly to the door panel. So the speaker just is basically sandwiched in between the trim ring and the door panel. Um, it seems really secure. The screws, there's no need to like torque them down like crazy on, on these. Um, I don't know if you can see them. There's a little bit of gap between the trim ring and uh, the door panel. But like I said, there's no need to get real crazy with them. They're pretty secure. Um, I can pretty well lift the entire door panel up um, by that and I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So, um, and then like I said up here on the tweeter, there is just a uh, threaded on ring that holds the tweeter in place um, where the mid would go. And that also is pretty secure. It's not going to go anywhere and it looks really nice and it should function just fine. So like if you look at it from the front, flip this around here, you can see that it looks pretty good. Um, there's plenty of room uh, for that behind the door pull handle. Um, so it, it fits really nice and so far on the passenger side I've noticed uh, no problems at all. So everything functions like it should. Alright, so I've got the wiring ready to go on my car and uh, I'm probably going to get some flack for this but I don't really care. Typically I'm not a fan of cutting the factory wiring. Um, figure out a way to splice it in but it's the 2004 this car is old and it's my car so I don't really care it'll be just fine um, and I understand that people want to solder connections and stuff but I have never ever had any issues using butt connectors or crimp caps or anything like that so that is what I did um, uh, as far as the wiring goes um, I just use some quick connectors like this um, and I use the opposite ends on the speakers it should be just fine um, like I said, butt connection is just fine. Um, and I just found the wiring online to make sure I get the right uh, polarity. We got yellow with red on the left hand side here. That is your positive for your tweeter. And on the right hand side, you've got yellow with brown, and that is your negative. Um, and on the bottom, I'm pretty sure it is blue with brown is the negative, and the blue with white is the positive. Um, let's check here. I got all the information here on the forums. So speakers on the front left, yeah. Yellow with red is positive. Yellow brown is negative. And on the whiffer, white and blue is positive and blue brown is negative. So there you go. Um, this has been really helpful. So this was E46 Fanatics uh, forum. So super helpful. So, all right, so I got all my wiring done and I'm ready to put the door panel and everything back in place and give it a test run. So I'll meet you back here in a little bit. All right, so the install did not go so well. People don't like to show you this, but I must have done something wrong. I've got music playing, if you can hear. Better turn it off, but. All right, so yeah, it doesn't work for whatever reason. I'm not sure. Um, Maybe I disconnected the wire by accident or not entirely sure. So I'm gonna pop the door panel back off and see what the hell the problem is. All right, so I fixed it. Um, it was just a bad connection on the tweeter right here. I didn't have it uh, together right. So all is well. Door panel. Your speakers are installed. Sounds pretty good. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me. Say boy, let's not talk too much. Grab on my waist and put that body on me. Come on now, follow my lead. Hopefully Ed Sheeran doesn't freak out on this video. Hopefully he sees it as helpful if he's got an E46, which I doubt it, but maybe. Never know. Maybe he's a fan. Sounds pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna put the door panel back together. Pretty excited, oh my god. I've been dealing with some shitty speakers for a long time. I've had this car for about a year and they've been terrible ever since I bought it. So it'll be nice to have it back together and jam to some tunes without having annoying crackling noises. All right, so everything works. 
Tweeter sounds great. I just had it on full blast. It was cranking, man. This thing is nice now. It is nice. And due to copyright, I probably can't play all this music. But we'll see what happens. So, a um, couple things. When you put it all back together, since I removed the mid and the tweeter, um, that bracket that that is attached to um, also kind of holds that in place. But it's nice and sturdy now um, because of putting that screw back in right there. It holds it against the door um so everything is back in place looks just like it would now uh, i know i'm gonna catch flack for putting my door panel on my hood i don't really care um the paint's pretty well uh screwed anyway um door panel obviously is in not that good a shape um obviously parts for these things are ridiculously expensive so um i'm not gonna replace it and i don't really care i'm planning on uh, doing a bunch of stuff for this car anyway so anywho uh thanks for watching uh, this install, if it was helpful, please click the like button, leave comments down below, whatever, uh, if you want to see more videos and stuff like this, um, and I can give you a tour of, like, uh, that car. I mean, I got a couple, uh, things done to it audio-wise, um, like I said, the speakers, I got a new radio, um, planning on doing the rear speakers, and, uh, taking care of a rattle back there, because it's really common in these cars, so, like I said, thank you for watching, uh, catch you next time.